quite honestly, yeah. I told you there's so many topics I would love, love, love to talk to you about, but I also want to be very respectful of your time. And I've had you for 45 minutes already. Um, so I'm, I'm just wondering if you have any parting words for pet parents out there who um, are curious about alternative medicine. Maybe they are just really on the fence because somebody in their life, maybe it is their veterinarian, has really kind of poo-pooed all over it and said, oh, that's hogwash, you know? <laughs> yeah. You know, I think the biggest thing for, especially if if pet parents are a little bit worried or they're just getting started in this realm, is start with one thing. I mean, this can be as simple as removing, like, cleaning chemicals that you wouldn't want to put on your skin in your house. Like, as simple as that and using cleaner products um, or using a food topper or, or even – you know, trying to get away from kibble and transition them or add in a digestive enzyme. There's, there's a lot of things that you can do and it doesn't all have to be at once. And I don't want people to feel overwhelmed with the journey. So I just pick one thing and start there. And then also, you know, follow people that are doing this. Um, and we put out a lot of free content to help you get started. So there's a lot of great tools out there. We have a free guide, like simple guide to optimizing your pet's food for dogs and cats with a lot of great resources. So that way you can learn more and, you know, learn what's in pet food. So that, that way you can have a conversation with your vet and you feel more comfortable. So I would say pick one thing that you can start doing from day one that will make a difference. And then two, find a couple holistic veterinarians or integrative vets that you feel connected to, you like what they're saying, that you trust and just start diving into their free content. And you're going to gain is. so much knowledge just doing that. And that's all free, which is nice. It is. 